Welcome to Network Nuts YouTube channel. My name is Alok Shrivastava and in this video I am going to show you a very small tip or a trick or a hack on Kubernetes. So this is my cluster. So normally what we do, let me draw a cluster here. Let's suppose uh, we have this cluster here. I have got multiple machines in the cluster and uh, it normally in the production you will have machines with multiple interfaces one might be connecting to capture the data and then the container will process and then we'll do it so i have a manager here and call it say node 1 and the node 2 so i have three machines here and these machines have got multiple interfaces so one interface this one which is going to the internet and the idea is to fetch the data or packages from the internet that is one interface and we have another interface which will be having static IPs or it I call it a static IPs will be here or you can also call it a host only network. So these interfaces the blue one will have the static IP. So in my case let's say my manager has got IP of 10.0.0.100 node 1 in this case has got 10.0.0.2 and 3 and so so on 1 2 3 4. Now I want that the Kubernetes communication should be happening only on the blue network that NAT will be getting the IP from the DSCP. So I'm, I'm not bothered for, about that. But any communication which is happening between the machines for the Kubernetes should be happening on the blue network, right? This is what we, we want that, that the Kubernetes should be doing that in this bracket. Yeah. So Kubernetes should be using these interfaces as the internal IPs. It should not use the DSCP IPs as the internal IPs. These should never be used. This is only to go to the outside world, get the data or get the packages. The Kubernetes communication should be happening onto the blue network or the static IPs. So this is what we are going to learn that how can I do this. Sometimes you might see that uh, the machine is getting the DSCP IP. Like uh, I'll show you here in my cluster. If I give the command kubectl get nodes hyphen o wide, you can see here manager is good manager is getting the ip of 10.0.0.100 which is cool but the node one is getting the ip of the, of the nat interface which is not at all good i don't want that isn't it they should also be having the ip of 10 range the internal ip so how can i do that so you have to make sure that the IP, I, ips are in sync aligned so obviously i have to go to the, the uh, machine i go to the node one that is my node one and if i show you the host name this is node one and the ip address also i i do a sudo which is a good thing now see here this is the internal ip 10.0.0.2 and this is the nat one so if i go back to the output it my hyphen o wide cube kettle get nodes hyphen o wide was showing this ip address check uh, yeah this is it see which is not at all good mm. i want 10 ip this one how to do it multiple ways are there to get this ip address multiple ways problem of plenty always in linux huh so one way is uh, let me call it say uh, method one huh so how we can change in the node internal ip that is the i point so first way is you can create a drop-in file create a drop-in file now we all are coming from a linux background we know what is a drop-in file so all you need to do you need to create a file under etc system d system then create a directory with a name of service kubelet dot service dot d you might have to create the directory which it might not be there kubelet dot service dot d and then create a file with any name say 10 hyphen kubelet dot conf any name extension should be conf normally we give the file name with the service name so create the, this file and just write a single line here write a single line here right here kubelet underscore config underscore arguments is equal to 
quotes hyphen hyphen node hyphen ip and the ip address is equal to 10.0.0.2 in my case this is one way of doing it obviously save and exit so we can create a drop in file and obviously i need to restart the service the second way is which is much more faster than creating a drop in file if i'm using a debian machines in my case i'm using ubuntu so it's a debian machine so i should write here yeah debian we are doing it for the debian just create the entry in this file at c so we should be using the debian in my case it is a like ubuntu box so vim at c default kubelet just open this file and write the same line there whatever you have written there copy it here right so i i'll write here for you kubelet underscore config underscore arguments and your ip address yeah g g g g g g s equal to hyphen hyphen node hyphen ip is equal to 10.0.0.2 that's all that's it and then obviously i have to do a system ctl daemon reload this is basics of linux it has got nothing to do with kubernetes system ctl daemon reload and finally you guessed it right i need to restart the kubelet service that's it restart kubelet uh, let me write it huh? this is it once you have done this your machine is configured to use the internal ip what you have assigned so let's check it out this is what we have to do i am removing this now let's go to the cluster said this is i open the file at c default kubelet and put a line here if this file is not there do create it just put a quote here hyphen f n node ip 10.0.0.2 that's the ip address save and come out very easy stuff and re load the daemon daemon reload and then restart the kubelet that's all now if i go back to the manager and give the command cube cuttle get node hyphen a wide swap that's working 10.0.0.2 if we go back to the previous output uh, go 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 here it was showing 121.130 which is not good now it is showing the right ips which are in sync so we have to make sure that if my servers have got multiple interfaces and i have to fix a internal ip address using this method so make sure that the internal ips are in sync aligned and they are using the static ips and showing the static ips in the internal ip block i hope you have liked it do share it how you liked it and thank you very much i'll see you soon take care godspeed